What's up, player? Me and Living Dead Talking Head. Coming to you live with Daigo, glorified games. How we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it going? What are we doing today? Ed, there was a surprise drop yesterday. Uh -huh. Portal 2 VR mod. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so this game is very dialogue heavy. A lot of exposition. So our commentary is going to be very, very sparse. <laughs> I can already hear the collective, yay! Good morning. <laughs> you have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine. This is Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door at this time? At any time? To have exercised his or her Hello? Remain in extended nope. relaxation. For the Are you going to open? Ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. You might... Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right, not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good 
news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a man ride on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet but um, at least you're a good jumper so you got that you got the jumping on your side um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead all right to play the I'll go the link in the description download it all right off you go extract it into the game directory It's all right, go ahead. If you want 6D or if go to the config file in the VR folder. Change it from false to true. Lastly, right click on the game in Steam, go to properties. I is the text from the description there. As your launch options, good luck, ciao, and try not to die. Calling on you, no pressure, only 10,000 tech subjects, no big deal. I know, I know, I have painted quite a grim picture of your chances, but if you simply stand here, we will both surely die. That's the spirit. Good luck! Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, Two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Man, what an intro. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, okay, so this is Portal 2 in VR. So what is Portal 2? Well, it's a sequel to Portal. No, uh, duh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not only that, but it's also set in the Half-Life universe. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. There is Half-Life, the Aperture Lab games, Portal, all set in the same universe. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. So, it's got that going for it, it's pretty cool. So, the premise and idea behind the original Portal is super simple. You have to solve puzzles using teleportation. Now, that sounds super simple, but technically, it was a marvel when the first Portal released. Like, this is some incredible work that they got going on. Real-time portals that you can look through, move through, that you can create in real time. Absolutely fantastic. And the puzzles might seem simple at first, but they get more and more intense, more and more difficult, and they become real, real head-scratchers later on. Now, Portal 2 builds upon that foundation, but it also adds a lot of lore, a lot of story, a lot of exposition, and it is just fantastic. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. 
Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. The characterization, the humor, everything about Portal 2. It's up there. It's one of my favorite games ever. Now, Valve seems to have an aversion to part trees of anything. <laughs> Like, Half-Life got up as far as Part 2, never went to Part 3. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to it. Had Part 2 Episode 1, Episode 2, but never went to Part 3. Instead it's got its own kind of spin-off, slash prequel, slash semi-sequel, Half-Life Alex, but no Part 3. Same is true of Portal. You get Portal 1, Portal 2. No part three. You get the lab, you get Aperture Science, Hand Lab, or whatever it was called for the Steam Deck. No part three. <laughs> hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? It's alright, no, go on, just have a look about. See the portal gun. Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour. Then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right. Brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. I don't know what it is, they do not like the number 3, but anyway, that's enough rambling there. So, I can't really go into too much on what Portal 2 is. It's one of those things you have to experience. The story unravels as you play, so I can't go too far into the gameplay because it will kind of spoil a lot. So we stay with the introduction really, but trust me, it opens up, it gets bigger, better, bolder. It, go it goes to insane places. <laughs> Now, let's talk about the VR mod. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. So, it's not by the same team that did Half-Life 2 VR, it's not. But it's something people have been clamoring for since Half-Life 2 VR was released. They had asked the Source VR mod team how can we get other games in? And they were like, yeah, maybe eventually, but we want to concentrate on Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2, yada yada. So some people took it upon themselves to mod the other games. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future entitlement associate will initiate the appropriate grievance paperwork. And here's one such example. Now, it's very, very early release, so there are some bugs. Few and far between, I might add, but one of them being performance. The game will lag a lot in places, especially when there's a lot happening on screen at once. You will get um, some lag on screen tearing, etc. This next test is very dangerous to help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. But what it has got going for it is it's got six DOF VR. Now it's not it's not active by default. You have to go into the config file and set it yourself. And quickly we'll have a brief tutorial. <laughs> so you can follow that along if you guys want to get this into VR. But it has 6 degrees of freedom. It has 6 degrees of freedom motion controls. Full stereoscopic 3D, you name it. It feels very, very good for a first release. And I look forward to future releases. Now, Portal being Portal, it's obviously fantastic. It plays amazingly. It's all about the puzzles, all about the story, all about the exposition. And the VR implementation only adds to that. It is fantastic. 
If you guys already own Portal 2, and if you don't, why the hell don't you? you? You're on Steam, you don't own Portal 2. What is wrong with you? Get downloading. Anyway, let's just assume you have Portal 2. Go to the link in the description, download this mod, install it, set up your config file to get 60OF working if you want. <laughs> if you don't, don't. And get playing, you guys. Get playing. This is something else. Yeah, and if any one of you out there want to hit me up for a multiplayer session, let's go. Let's get it done. Great work. Because this is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Alright, so I guess we're gonna leave it there you guys. Uh, like, comment and subscribe if you've got any thoughts, queries and critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like to look at VR finding in the future ourselves, put those comments in the description and we will presumably get back to you. Yeah. Your fight game's out. Yeah, your fight game's out. In and out. In. And playing with portals is fun, yo. In, out, in, out. <laughs> <laughs>
If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Thank you.